Well, to start off today, we want to look at the situation in Japan, where a catastrophic 8.9 earthquake struck off the coast there, followed by a devastating tsunami that battered many regions of the country. Now, officials estimate thousands are dead and thousands more missing. Thousands are dead and thousands more missing throughout the day today. Thousands are dead and thousands more missing. In the northeastern part of the country, the closest major city to the epicenter of the earthquake. And now in the after effects, and not only aftershock. And now in the after effects, and not only aftershock. It's not going to be able to get cool enough to avoid a major disaster. This is a very serious situation. This is the second time in four years that six or more Japanese reactors have been subjected to serious damage by an earthquake. We hope the Japanese learn from this. There are 55 reactors in Japan. Superheated radioactive fuel rods will uh, uh, melt. And if they melt, you will have an or you could conceivably have an explosion if there's too much water in the area and it turns into uh, uh, steam. It could blow off the, uh, the, the pressure vessel and, and could result in a huge release of radiation. Uh, could have been released to cover the entire United States. If this happens in Japan, this radiation could blow deep into Russia and, uh, you know, all the way into, uh, all over China, Russia, Korea, the entire western part of Asia could be affected, could be affected, could be affected, could be affected. Could be affected. 